My humour is quintessentially British, I think. Having grown up in South Africa, which used to be a British colony, so a lot of my influences um, were British, but not exclusively. I was born in 1973. Television arrived in South Africa in 1976. We only got TV, my family got a television set in about 1980. So for the first seven years or so, it was Mad Magazine and it was also Giles Magazine. Giles, for those who don't know, was a political satire cartoon from one of the British newspapers in the form of a, an annual. My favorite artist was probably Don Martin from Mad Magazine, a uh, huge fan. I discovered recently that one of the artists, L. Jeff Fee, is still alive and still working for Mad Magazine. He's 99 years old. And then as we moved into the 1980s, of course, television arrived. I remember a half hour program once a week with Mickey, Donald and Goofy. So that early Disney stuff um, was an inspiration. I also remember watching some of the, we used to get some dubbed European stuff, German and Dutch and that kind of stuff. So some unusual stuff, one show called Grapjas Didi, which was very slapstick about this German guy who skiing on roofs and tables and that kind of stuff. Another one I really enjoyed was a series called The Orchestra, which was just completely crazy. I loved it. I must have been about 12 then. And then the late 80s came along and it was Black Adder, Thin Blue Line, The Simpsons. And then in the 90s when I was at university, Monty Python. In the early 2000s, I was introduced to Eddie Izzard, and then later on still George Carlin, probably my favorite, bravest comedian of all time. There were a few I forgot. From the 1970s, my dad always had Bill Cosby audio tapes. Anybody my age and older remember the old little audio cassette you used to pop into the car or into a tape deck player? He's not terribly well known outside of South Africa. He is a satirist and a comedian and still operates from a little town called Darling, which is very appropriate since he's quite camp, just outside Cape Town. His name is Peter Dirk Ace. I think that's where I first got my love of impressions and impersonations from. He is wonderful. In the 1980s, there was a British show called Allo Allo which was set in France during the Second World War. And there were plenty of accents there too for me to lap up as a kid. French, British, Italian, German. My most recent comedic influence, however, is a BBC show from the 1950s called The Goon Show. And that had Spike Milligan, Peter Sellers, and Harry Seekham in it. A radio show of truly crazy proportions. I typically carry around with me about 50 episodes on my cell phone. Right, so I think that sums up the nut that I am. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. There is a new video that comes out every Tuesday and every Friday, and maybe even a little bonus one as well every now and again. If you enjoyed what you've just seen, please subscribe to my channel. It is lifeblood. I want to grow this channel so I never have to work in an office again. Can you imagine me in an office? I know, right? Also, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment below as well. I'd love to hear from you. I'm starting to feel like Donald Trump now with these hands. Please visit my other channel to see how I live. Drazzle, the green African. And you'll find a link somewhere here. I don't know. <laughs> love you lots. So we'll see you next time.